Okay, so example three, sorry about this, that angle there is supposed to be 90 degrees between the radius and the angular velocity, uh, sorry, and the linear velocity, but I think I messed that up a little bit in terms of my diagram. So radius, linear velocity, okay, uh, or linear speed. Now, it asks you to work out the angular velocity A, so omega is equal to um, 2 pi over t, you could use that, but we don't know the um, the time period, so that's no good. So omega is equal to v over r is the other one because we know that v equals r omega, so omega is equal to v over r. So v is 0.4, r is 5, so 0.4 divided by 5 okay, is going to give you 0.08 radians per second okay then we're asked to work out the frequency well we know omega equals 2 pi f so f is equal to omega over 2 pi okay so it's 0 0.08 divided by 2 pi okay so that's 0 0.0127 uh, hertz now the next bit then is the time period so t is equal to 1 over f, okay, so it's just 1 divided by that answer, and that's 78.54 seconds. And then finally, the angular frequency. Now, the angular frequency is just another way of saying angular velocity, so it's just omega, which is 0 0.08 radians per second, okay? So there we go. That's part three.